A country split into two will go to the ballots in November to decide whether or not to re-elect their president. But it's not the country you think. In fact, it's not a country that usually makes the headlines. In Moldova, on November 1st, pro-Russian president Igor Dodon will face pro-EU Maya Sandu. The same showdown that happened four years ago. When taking power in 2016, President Dodon said he wanted balanced politics between Russia and the European bloc. Eu cred că Rusia ar putea să ajute ca Uniunea Europeană să fie mai puternică, Europa să fie mai puternică. Eu sunt adeptul ideii unei Europe mari de la Lisabona la Vladivostok. But in reality, he's been moving much more towards Moscow. He's visited EU countries 11 times, but its neighbor Romania that speaks the same language, not even once. And Russia, 21 times. His opponents accused him of bringing in people from the Russian-speaking breakaway region of Transnistria to vote for him. On the other side, Maya Sandu wants revenge after her defeat in 2016. She talked about cleansing the political class. But she was prime minister not later than last year, before being ousted after a vote of no confidence. And EU leaders are clear about who they support. Când mai întreabă în Europa dacă se merită să susțin Moldova, răspund imediat da. Și când se întreabă cine poate cel mai bine să ducă Moldova la succes, răspund imediat Maya Sandu. In Russia as well. Prime Minister Moldova, President Putin said the other day that Russia uh, didn't, does not engage in state-sponsored interference with other countries' elections. Do you believe that? <laughs> but why are the EU and Russia interested in Moldova? It's the poorest European country, and it has little geopolitical value. But that's precisely why it's a playground for influence. Both powers can test things out without too many risks. For the EU, Moldova is seen as the next post-Soviet country to include in its union before others like Ukraine and Georgia. On the other hand, Russia still has 1,500 troops protecting Europe's largest weapon stockpile in the de facto state of Transnistria. And EU expansion is not top of Russia's wish list. Regardless of geopolitical split, there's one thing the political class has to solve. Moldovans aren't happy in Moldova. So many are leaving. Out of 2.7 million Moldovans, about 1 million are living and working abroad. Half of them in Russia, half of them in the EU. And Moldovans are concerned more about corruption and quality of life than foreign interference.